Today I'm going to be doing my first favourites and this is the first time I've ever done it. Um, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit congested, I am. My whole front of my face just feels like it's made of cement right now so I'm not going to sound very good and I've actually bothered to put some eyeliner on because otherwise I'm not going to look too great. I'm going to look a little bit blurry eyed. So yeah, I'm sorry if I sniff a lot during this film. I'm going to try not to uh, but I don't have much control over it right now so yeah. By the way, I'm going to try and do a favourites video today. These favourite videos, um, I don't know if they're going to be monthly, we're going to see. This is a bit of an experiment to see how you guys like it, to see how I like it. Um, and they're not going to be about makeup. Uh, or if they are, it's going to be very little. Uh, because as much as I love doing makeup, it's. Um, I'm into art a lot more. Um, so yeah, a lot of it's going to be about books, art stuff, random little things that I've found. Um, it'll probably be more about skincare and stuff than makeup, but either way, we'll see. And I'm going to start off with these. Um, I'm obsessed with jewellery. I love jewellery and I'm really big on rings, uh, especially Celtic rings. I'm having a bit of a, an obsession with Celtic rings at the moment, so I'm going to go through all of these. This one I got for my birthday a few days ago. Uh, this one I got from Accessories. Uh, this little leaf one I got from Sainsbury's. I've got a blog post about these on my blog. Uh, this one again I got from Sainsbury's. It's too small for my ring finger. It's alright for my little finger but the problem is that it's a little bit loose on the little finger so it tends to fly off um, and I don't want to lose it. Uh, so I have this one which I think I got from Next um, which just holds everything in place. So everything that's kind of too big for the little finger um, tends to get stacked up on here so this, this ring gets a little bit heavy. Not this ring, this finger tends to get a little bit loaded up on rings but yeah. I like rings, I like having a lot of jewellery on. Um, these I got from accessories as well. And then this one was from eBay. And this one I got from Sainsbury's as well. I get a lot of my jewellery from eBay. I love eBay for jewellery. I mean, there's some things that eBay isn't that good for, um, but there's some things that it is, and jewellery is one of them. So yeah, this is my first monthly favourite. The second one is also a birthday present. I have had to cut it in half because I didn't need the whole block. Um, and this is a solid shampoo. I love solid shampoos. Um, I've been using Lush, I think, for the past two years. But I thought I'd try something different and this is the one that I'm going to be trying out. I'll be doing a review on it, but I want to wait a few weeks um, before I do a review. I got to use it last night um, and it felt amazing. I mean, it definitely feels more moisturising than the Lush shampoos, but I'm going to test it out for a few more weeks before I do the review on it. Um, and I know that it did smell nice, I just can't smell it right now because uh, everything's blocked up. So I can't smell anything at all. Um, but from what I remember, it smelled of kind of chamomile and flowers. I just don't remember which ones. Um, but yeah, that's my second monthly favourite so far. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> These I found in the works, um, I think a few weeks ago. It was quite funny actually because my sister um, went to the works in the evening and went and bought the exact same things. Um, so we were clearly on the same wavelength then. Um, and it's these, um, and they look a little bit like the Pro Markers, and I do want to do a comparison to them at some point, uh, but not yet. I need to test them out a little bit more. I've only got skin tones because I tend to use um, these pens for the skin tones, and then I go over them with, I think it's called my Polychromy pencils, um, and I love those pencils, absolutely love them. Uh, but yeah. It was quite funny because I went into the works. I was like, oh my gosh, they have something which is like the Pro Markers. Um, and they were 99p, and uh, you're never kind of sure when you see a price like that is it going to be a bargain or is it just going to be a total waste of money? Um, but they were a bargain. Um, you could test them out, and I was testing them out in the shop, and I'm like, ooh, this looks good. So <laughs> I went and got all the colours that I thought would be useful. I got, um, let's see, I got warm grey, I got two flesh tones, two buttercup yellows. And I also got a colourless blender, which is an absolute lifesaver. Um, yeah, I love this. I think I've got two more of these somewhere else, but they're probably in my roll. I've got a roll of um, all my favourite tools that I like to use for kind of drawing. Um, and the others made it in there, so they're over there. But yeah, that's my next part of my monthly favourites. This is something I went and got in Camden a few days ago. Uh, my cousin came over from Spain and we were showing him around. And Camden is one of my favourite places to go. I just can't help but get ideas while I'm there. And I've already got, uh, yeah, I'll show it to you first. But this is what I got. 
I like carrying notebooks around me and I like my notebooks to be, um, depending on the topic, I'll have a different notebook. So if it's one for makeup ideas, then I'll have that. If it's one for story ideas, then I'll have one for that. If it's one for lyrics, then I'll have a different book. Uh, this is the one that I use for my lyrics. Uh, it's got a little thing that I added at the bottom, which is a, was it a key and a lock. Um, but this is the one that I've used for my lyrics for the past few years. Um, I got this one um, in my last year of uni and every single time I had like kind of um, any ideas or kind of sometimes I'd write lyric ideas on random bits of paper I'd stick them in here. Um, yeah, so this is my lyrics books and it's just, it's either kind of story ideas that contribute to lyrics or kind of little random songs that I get in my head I just doodle them down and they don't always get used but they always help contribute to something else so that's my lyric book um, but I wanted to get another little book for um, a story idea that I had and I like I like different notebooks for different things so if you know if I've got a few different stories going on in my head I like to have different notebooks for them because otherwise you spend ages going through them and like where was that one note I know I wrote down um, so yeah it's just kind of little ideas that I've had, um, I'll sketch them out um, in there, um, and yeah, just things like that. Uh, this is the, the newest little notebook, and the good thing about this one is that when I'm done, I can take it out, I'm not going to take it all out because I'm not going to put it back in, um, but when I'm done with this, I can take it out and I can pop in a new notebook, um, and these covers are really solid, so it will protect what's in there, and also, with a cover like this, you it can't get confused with someone else's. So I love colours like this. I just I like things that have character like this. I don't think I don't like things which are bland. And if they are bland, I tend to decorate them to make it a bit more interesting. So yeah, that's another monthly favourite. The last part of my monthly favourites is books, and I have a lot of these. Uh, my personal philosophy is that you can never have too many books uh, because you can never have too many ideas. And books give you ideas, and if not ideas, they make life fun, and that makes it worth it. So. Yeah, we'll start off with the one I got for my birthday, um, and this just shows my mental maturity more than anything else, um, and it's the artwork for How to Train Your Dragon. I love books like this. At some point I will get them for The Hobbit, but I want to wait until the last Hobbit movie is out, and then I want to get the concept art books for that. And it's just full of all these beautiful drawings, different styles, you know those really quirky drawings that they had at the end of the video. Um, it's full of those, and it's just... Oh, I love it. I could flick through books like this for hours. Um, and it's just, it's so pretty. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I can say about this book other than I love it. It's just, yeah. Books like this make me excited. The second one is the digital painting techniques. Uh, <laughs> these are the kind of covers my mum hates, but I love because I see them and I'm like, oh, this is amazing. And mum's like, that's ugly. And I'm like, that's a point. Um, yeah. And I've been quite lucky with books this month actually because sometimes I've bought books um, and while they'll have kind of a few drawings that I really like, they'll have styles that I'm not particularly fond of. And the books that I've got this month, I've just shot right up into my favourites. So yeah, I love the books that I got this month. This one was a birthday present as well. Um, sometimes they give you ideas on how to paint or how to draw non-digitally. Um, I did have a whack on bamboo tablet once and I did dabble in digital digital um, drawing but I'm I prefer touching what I'm working with that's why I really lo I love charcoal I just haven't been able to to use charcoal because I'm absolutely petrified of getting charcoal on the carpet and you know if I ever decide to get or try and get my own place or something um, I'd quite like to have my deposit back so I'd rather not get charcoal all over the, the carpet and I get really messy when I use charcoal because it's meant to be you know you're meant to get filthy when you use charcoal so I haven't been able to do a charcoal drawing in a while and it's really getting to me so at some point I'm just going to have to go out and go draw in a field somewhere where no one's going to mind. The next one is called Spectrum 20. I think I did the next three books I've done a blog post about these so I'll have the link to those um, down in the description box and again it's just full of beautiful beautiful drawings and it's got mostly styles that I really appreciate because sometimes there's styles that just like Ugh. It does not appeal to you at all. Wasn't really the case with these books. With these books, for all of them, like 98% of them are drawings I love. So there was a Spectrum 20, which is another one of my favourites. Um, and then this one, Fantasy 5 and Fantasy 4, which are these. And again, they're on my blog post. And just, I can't really say anything else other than it's just full of 
beautiful drawings and things like, oh, just look at that drawing. How beautiful is that? It's just, how can you not, anyone who looks at things like this and doesn't get ideas, I just don't understand it. But yeah, there's this one, which is Fantasy V. And then there's Fantasy IV. And just, oh, I mean, look at these, it's so pretty. And there's also people who do um, sculpture as well. Um, it kind of makes me think of Games Workshop this one. It could be, I haven't, I don't know how to read these books. If there's text, I can ignore it completely. I get these books for the pictures. Um, let me see, what does it say? Yeah, model making. <laughs> I should have read through that first, but I didn't. I never read, just, if there's a book with pictures, I'll look at the pictures. These are the kind of drawings I love, the ones that are not completely finished. They kind of let your brain fill in all the missing pieces and those kind of drawings I find the most beautiful because they let your brain fill in all the missing pieces and it kind of kicks off creativity really. It's really polished, finished pictures that I'm not too fond of because they don't let your imagination go anywhere. You look at it, you're like, oh, that's pretty, and then you move on. Um, but slightly unfinished drawings let, let your brain fill in the missing pieces and you just can't help but get ideas. So, yeah, these are the books. That's my monthly favourites. I hope you liked it. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing more of these. Today is really going to be a bit of a tester. Um, see what you guys think. See how uh, I feel about them because uh, I'm not used to doing things like this and I find it very hard to look at the camera. It's something that's always made me quite nervous, but I'm getting better. If you compare my older videos, I'm a heck of a lot better. Um, but yeah, I hope you like these kind of videos uh, and we'll see if I'll do any more.